Hey guys, what's up? Joe again. Here another fucking random video. Now, uh, I just want to make a little confession and I got to be upfront with you. Um, I'm kind of at the point where like, I'm starting to get lost with my own fucking, fucking series I'm creating here about how I edit, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to create like a, a long video on how I edit because the way how I edit is pretty much, it evolves around how Paul works, you know? Obviously, after working with Paul for like three years, I kind of develop a workflow between how he films, how he gives me the footage, how I prepare everything, how I edit, and how I deliver it back to him, right? You know, trial and error, and pretty much we just develop a workflow. Same thing with his footage, you know, Paul, the way how he films and how he wants to present his videos is his own way, so I have to learn how to like work with what he gives me and how to be, you know, edit it in a manner that works for me to get it done fast and and then just deliver it back, right? So I don't want to get into too much detail how I edit. I just want to show you the important parts, how when I edit, you know, kind of thing, right? So there's like a step that you feel that you can do maybe more towards the end or in the beginning, or maybe you could just skip the step altogether or whatever. You know, it's fine. Again, I'm just showing you like the way how I edit, the tools that I use and the shortcuts that I use to make my life easier. So just keep that in mind, all right? So this video is heavily time-lapse. Uh, this is the Arctic Panther rebuild that he did. It was a long day for the most part pretty much he like cleaned out all of his uh, fittings for his uh, water cooling stuff and then like uh, he put all the stuff back together right he didn't like rebend the tubing and all the shit so it was a long day so most of it wasn't really talking most of it is just him like talking, uh, working right taking everything apart and putting it back together right so there's a lot of footage that we use as time lapse now up to this point you know like the whole pluralized syncing the audio and all the shit and I already did that you know it does help to save me time so pretty much what I'm doing now is I'm going through like the clips and the area where it's nothing but build i'm doing like the time lapse right so this is where my logic where my logitech g13 uh, comes into play right up here is pretty much the i guess memory banks or whatever so i have up to one two three four five six six applications that i'm able to create three individual you know shortcut layers for right i'm on premiere pro and a memory bank one already got some stuff set up uh, memory two this is made for my sound effects and a memory three i have it set up for all my time lapse speeds right now i'm still messing with it so there's some you know areas open right but i pretty much have it set up for like the numbers that i use the most and i do use a lot of numbers in between the thing is that uh depending on what's going on i cannot just have a consistent speed throughout the video right because it doesn't look good i want it to be fast that way it's not boring to watch at the same time i want it to be slow enough so you can see what's going on right and also like there's parts where i'm using like the handheld camera so it's kind of like uh obviously no matter how steady i can hold the camera you know there's still gonna be a little bit of a jiggle so if i increase the speed of it then it gets very shaky right so uh, that's another thing that i have to you know be careful of right so all right let's work on this area so that's another thing make sure when you're doing like any time lapse you check the ripple edit shift trailing that way if you were to expand or shorten the clip when you're doing like um a time lapse when you increase or decrease the speed of a footage it kind of like shifts everything after that either back or f forward that way like you know you don't worry about gaps down the line helps save a lot of time right you know usually i hold alt i can select the audio i can delete them um sometimes like during the recording we stop and say something so like, i don't delete all the audio at the same time you know i just kind of like instead of you know selecting everything and deleting it i kind of like wait until i see if everything's okay to be deleted so uh, the way how i've set up my shortcut with uh the g13 is i gotta make the one here but i'm gonna show you what i do all right so let's say this clip for me it's control s but you can change that i hit control s i change the speed let's just say to 800 then i hit tab five times one two three four five i hit enter so that'll be my like the command sequence to create my macro to increase the speed right however before that something i do is um, say in this case we have like two clips you know on top of each other if i was just to increase the speed of that let's just say 500 see it increases only the speed that is selected the top layer right so what i want to do is basically hit a hit my control select everything at the playhead so in my case is a control shift alt p see it selects everything and then i do my sequence to uh, increase the speed so that's when i create my macro so let's just say i sign new command a multi key and let's say 800 percent speed and i hit record down here do my shortcut to select everything at the playhead which is control shift alt p then go I command to open up the speed, hit the number values, 800. Then I hit tab five times so I reach the enter uh, button. One, two, three, four, five. Then I hit enter on my keyboard, stop recording, hit OK. And now we have a, uh, a macro. The cool thing about the Logitech is that if I want to move these guys, I can just like click and drag them wherever I want. 
you know, that is nice. Just leave it here. And as you can see, they like this whole keyboard section right here. It's just pretty much nothing but like, you know, speed increases. Yeah, it just saves me a lot of time. See, in this case, I mean, I just push a button. Boom. Went back to 100%. Boom. 175. Boom. 500%. You know, it's just a lot easier and quicker. So that's mainly how I do a time lapse. Uh, when I do videos for Paul. So I use the Logitech 13 for this a lot. So yeah, definitely like this little thing. And like I said, probably like the main thing I like is that I'm able to like click and drag um, my my macros and it updates instantly so it's very um you can change the layout very very quickly so yeah that's cool all right so that's it for this video so yeah i'm gonna keep it short so if you have the ability to use macros use them and i'm gonna continue showing you what i do you know with when it comes to like editing uh, videos for Paul and stuff like that. Uh, more down the line, I want to do my own stuff, kind of like maybe VFX and shit like that. So, but it's more down the line. So, yeah, a lot of work, but it's cool. All right, so that's all I got for you. So, hope it helps. Take care. Peace.